Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Amazing Race, and thank you guys for watching. And welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. Now, this episode is going to be a little bit more educational because whenever I was in the hinterlands, when I explained to you guys that I was going to skip ahead, I skipped ahead. I really went really far. I mean, I'm out of the area, but I still haven't finished the area. I spent like six, seven hours playing the area, right? And I've completed so many quests. I completed so many requisitions. Okay. So, first things first, this is the war map. Okay? So, in the war map, they give you all these little missions that you can do. And you can send all these agents out there. Now, you, um, some of the times, you'll only have these three of your, like, your war people. Like, Josephine, she's, like, more di diplomatic. Uh, Liliana, she's with the secrets, and then, um, Colin, he's with, uh, the force. Now, you, you gain more agents, I believe you gain more agents if you go out and you do missions and you find these people and these agents. Let me see if I can find one. Yeah. Hold on. Uh. Okay, so I already completed that one. Um. Alright, so I think you, I think, I think you can find more agents out there, because I found two other people. Um, and all that stuff. So, anyways, I completed a lot of stuff. Alright, I can, I finished all kinds of requisitions, I finished all kinds of quests, and I'll get into what, everything, the story-wise, what happened in the hinterlands, but right now I'm gonna have to explain all this to you. So, I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with the game or you guys have been watching another series, but I, I'm gonna explain it to you anyways. Anyway, so... To do these missions, you'll need things called power, and they're located down right here. You get power by doing quests, you by completing requisitions, and by like claiming landmarks and different places, different camps. All right. So, um, yeah. So you gain those, and each one of them costs them a certain amount of time, uh, a certain amount of power. They also have a certain amount of time to complete each one. Like Colin has 57 minutes, uh, Liliana has an hour, and Josephine has 45 minutes. Now, obviously, you would use Josephine to get this one, but I'm not going to do it right now. Because, um, and you don't, I don't think you have to be online for this one. I mean, you don't have to be playing, because I think they go ahead and go over by themselves. Because I just got back on, and all kinds of my quests were completed that I started yesterday. Anyway, so yeah, um, where, where was I? Uh... So I think that's just about everything. There's that, and then you can go over here to this place. And I just got back from a place here. Well, anyways, there's a place over here that I just got back from. You go right, you go there right after the hinterlands. Um. Okay, sorry. Um. Anyway, so I'm gonna back out of here. So back. By the way, I'm back in Haven. If you guys didn't already know that. Um, well, actually, I'm gonna go to the hinterlands. I messed up right there. Sorry about that. See, I just gained two power. Uh, hurry up. Alright, so I'm gonna go back to the hinterlands. Alright guys, so I'm here in, in Hinterlands, alright, and I'm at the crossroads, which is kind of like the refu refugee camp, basically. Now, here, the main quest for you, the first thing that you'll do is you'll come around here and you'll find, uh, Mother Jazelia. Yeah, I know, it's kind of a strange name, but whatever. Um, anyways, you'll talk to her and she'll tell you about how she knows some of the people in the Chantry and you should talk to the Chantry and try to get them with you. Now, you don't need to get them with you, you just need to get some people to doubt the one cleric guy, the little dickhead that I hate. Anyways. Oh, and by the way, guys, uh, something really bad happened. Um, I, I got it fixed up and everything, I just had to rest I had to start a new character. I was kind of pissed off, so I didn't really go with, like, how I look in real life. and Because I didn't even really look like that guy in real life, I wasn't that handsome. But anyways, um... So, yeah, I had to restart a new character. His name's Bradford. Don't ask me why. But anyways, um, so, yeah, I had to start a new character, and it was it took quite a long time. I played maybe nine hours yesterday playing this. And I got this for it, so it's not that bad. So here's the map, okay? So, I, as you can see, it's not completely filled out, and I still have some quests to do. But I just got really tired of this. And this area down here is really tough. And I can't even really get to it. So anyways, um, 
All right, so there's these things here. Okay, I'll show you this. They're called landmarks. You get to claim them, and they give you, I'll tell you right here, it gives you two power, okay? All of these, all these landmarks and all these quests are, are part of a kind of collectibles thing, like you'd see in Assassin's Creed or something like that. All right, so whenever you get here, um, you do that, and then you go talk to the horse master. He's over here in this area. Um, I think this is him right here, Farmland Security. Yeah, okay. Well, no, that's not him. Sorry. Um, and then he'll uh, give you a horse. Oh, here he is. There's your horse. Okay. Now, I don't like the, um, the animation for it so well. I think it just looks kind of generic, I guess you could say. But anyways... So I did all of that, and now I went back to Haven, all right? And in the Haven, they sent me to the Capital Place. Now, at the Capital Place, the Templars were supposed to be protecting the Capital and the Chantry, but it turns out that the, that the um, Templars do not want to protect the place anymore. So it was actually kind of funny because this one Chantry lady was giving a speech about how bad I am, and then he comes up and punches her in the face and, like, and just, like, announces that they won't be protecting the place anymore which i thought was absolutely hilarious because i was getting pretty pissed off at the lady but anyways i'm going to go ahead and show you uh what it looks like to claim something you got it's like an easy thing so i don't know why i'm actually doing this but i'm just going to do it anyways but anyways i'll talk to you while i'm over here so anyways on my way out i got contacted because uh by this one lady um person more or less I don't know. Hold on. Um, got contacted by this person because they shot an arrow at my foot. And it's, I can't remember what her name was. But anyway, she invited me and it was, it was, it was strange. But anyways, um, also on my way out, I got invited to uh, the Circle of Mages place to uh, speak with them about the Inquisition and try to get their support. I also go, also got invited by, um the rebel mages place and they're in red cliff so i'm going to go ahead and visit them right after i get done discussing this with you guys um so i also got invited to go talk to them and that, and you remember that in the story um i was supposed to go and, and visit the rebels anyways to get more power in my little hand thingy so anyways that happened and uh here's here's one of the resources things it's like kind of like uh world of warcraft where you just dig it out of the side only you don't have a pickaxe you just do that little animation but anyways so um as i'm nearing this i don't know if i'm actually nearing it or not but anyways this this game is very wide open i mean it's probably the most open yeah it definitely is the most open of their games i've ever seen and, um, some, I, I guess some AIs respond, but some don't, which is okay with me in some, in some ways, because I don't really, like, kind of grind, grind out a lot, I guess you could call it. Oh, let me go ahead and get over here. You'll also find these plants, elf root, like, from impressive. the other two games. Even as a ruin, I wonder what dreams it might hold. Alright, so let's go up here and claim this place. See, it'll have this little thing, and you'll claim it. It'll give you two power. So yeah, you just have to claim all the landmarks. It's a collectible, and it also raises your thing called influence into the area, I think. Yeah, influence. Hold on me. Yeah, and there's a bunch more elf fruit around. But anyways, um, it'll include your, elf, your uh, influence. And I have a level two influence right now. And I'm working towards level 3. Now, I'm not going to show me doing a whole lot of crap. I'm going to skip ahead to wherever I show up at Red Cliff. But anyway, so yeah, I pretty much explained to you everything that happened. I captured a bunch of camps. I, I really increased my influence in the region. And uh, so yeah, I'm going to skip ahead to, to Red Cliff. And then hopefully uh, we'll see what happens from there. Alright, thank you guys. Very back. Alright guys, I'm back. So anyways, um, one last thing before, I mean, one last educational thing I would like to talk about before, um, before I get back into the game and actually start playing the game instead of just being an educational asshole, um, <laughs> I just want to rant, rant a little bit on how beautiful the game is and how wide open the game is and how more ex exploration, exploration the game has. 
compared to the second game. The second game was really narrow, I felt, and it wasn't really as open as it needed to be, especially as much as the first game was. The first game was a little narrow, but there was still some exp uh, exploration, I thought. But anyways, this game is huge, okay? Now, I just came from here, from here to here, and it took me about maybe seven minutes, okay? Now, if you take this, and then if you run all the way over to here, it'll probably take you about 14 minutes just to get there. And there's a whole ton of stuff to really... There's a whole bunch of stuff to to see and to like there's fighting going on all over the place simultaneously and the physics on every object are amazing they did this so well and i'm just going to rant on how awesome this game actually is i mean except for this little animation that you see on this horse um everything else is amazing just look at the lighting here okay look at the lighting as it goes through that these these couple of trees here it's absolutely beautiful i mean and like, there's like little roads, like little things on the side of the road right here that'll stop you, and then you'll find a quest, and then you might go do the quest, right? So, anyways, I'm right here. Oh crap! Uh, I have to get off my horse. I have to close this rift. Oh, those are slow. Okay. So we're here. As you can see, my guys got con considerably, like, more powerful, I guess you could say. And I just want to, like, ramp a little bit on how awesome all of the, uh, animations look again. I think I did it already in, um, in the first couple parts. I'm still using the ah oh, crap. I didn't get to it in time. Ah uh, crap. I've got to get out of here. <laughs> My guy is a little squishy, but not as much. I'm just getting shit kicked out of me. There's so many of them. Close up, motherfucker. So let's get on my loot. What? Was that? We don't know what these rifts can do. That one appeared to alter the time around it. Looks like it killed everybody here too. All right, so. Make her have mercy. It's over. Open the gates. Looks like it really fucked them up. We spread word the Inquisition was coming. But you should know that no one here was expecting us. No one. Not even Grand Enchanter Fiona. If she was, she hasn't told anyone. We've arranged use of the tavern for the negotiations. Agents of the Inquisition, my apologies. Magister Alexius is in charge now, but hasn't yet arrived. He's expected shortly. You can speak with the former Grand Enchanter in the meantime. Well, they're really nice for rebel assholes that I've killed so many of. You guys ha literally have no idea how many of these assholes I already killed. And not merely weak, but altered in a way I have not seen. We should talk to the Grand Enchanter. Alright, so let's just go ahead and get right into it. Oh, look at this. It really hasn't changed much. They really, they kept, they kept the look of the place which I really like I'm suspecting that there is this up here would be the area where you held off the attack coming from Red Cliff Castle I'm guessing yeah cuz here was where the old windmill used to be yep impressive craftsmanship to remain standing after such abuse yep it looks really nice too 
Oh my god, look at that. Oh, <laughs> man, I don't even think Tomb Raider. Uh, yeah, Tomb Raider might be able to compete. Speaking of Tomb Raider, I have put that on back home because I kind of got bored with it. I'm, I'm going to eventually finish it, but I'm going to try and do this in a Far Cry series. Then I'll finish up that. I promise, guys, I will finish it. It'll be glorious whenever I'm done with it. I just need a break from it. We would be dead if I did not. Yeah, so they really haven't changed too much about it. Here's the town square where you do that big hold off. There's the docks down there. To claim this shit. Good day. So they're all happy that we're here. Like they're, they're happy the Inquisition's here to protect them. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. Mm -hmm. So I still don't think I'm going to be getting out of here anytime soon. Oh, by the way, they also mentioned the Grey Wardens. Now, um, Grey Wardens were a big... If you guys haven't been following the series too much... Grey Wardens were a really big thing in the second game. Basically, you did everything for the Grey Wardens, and basically the Grey Wardens took over. And then I forgot what the guy's name that you put in there. But anyway, so supposedly they all disappeared. And uh, our negotiations lady and our diplomat lady got a hold of one of them, and we're supposed to visit them as well sometime soon. So yeah, there was a lot that went on. And I'm sorry I had to cut it out, but there was just too much... And I couldn't do that many parts. Welcome, agents of the Inquisition. What has brought you to Redcliffe? We're here because of your invitation back in Val Royale. You must be mistaken. I haven't been to Val Royale since before the Conclave. There is no mistake. While the Templars were leaving, you came to Val Royale and asked me here. The Templars left Val Royale? Where did they go? That sounds... Why does that sound so strange? Whoever or whatever brought you here, the situation has changed. The Free Mages have already pledged themselves to the service of the Tevinter Imperium. An alliance with Tevinter? Do you not fear all of Thedas turning against you? Andraste ass. I'm trying to think of a single worse thing you could have done, and I've got nothing. I understand that you are afraid, but you deserve better than slavery to Devinter. As one indentured to a magister, I no longer have the authority to negotiate with you. An alliance with Tevinter is a terrible mistake. All hope of peace died with Justinia. This bargain with Tevinter would not have been my first choice, but we had no choice. We are losing this war. I needed to save as many of my people as I could. Welcome, my friends. I apologize for not greeting you earlier. Agents of the Inquisition, allow me to introduce Magister Girion Alexius. The Southern Mages are under my command. And you are the survivor, yes? The one from the Fade? Interesting. I haven't seen any sign of Redcliffe's Arl or his men. The Arl of Redcliffe left the village. Al Tegan did not abandon his lands during the Blight, even when they were under siege. There were tensions growing. I did not want an incident. I'd like to know more about this alliance between the Rebel Mages and the Imperium. Certainly. What specifically do you wish to know? The Grand Enchanter told me she was indentured to a Magister. 
Our southern brethren have no legal status in the Imperium. As they were not born citizens of Tevinter, they must work for a period of ten years before gaining full rights. As their protector, I shall oversee their work for the Imperium. I'm not clear on when exactly you negotiated this arrangement with Fiona. When the Conclave was destroyed, these poor souls faced the brutality of the Templars who rushed to attack them. It could only be through divine providence that I arrived when I did. It was certainly very timely. What does the Imperium gain from taking rebel mages under its wing? For the moment, the southern mages are a considerable expense. After they are properly trained, they will join our legion. You said not all my people would be military. There are children, those not suited. And one day I'm sure they will all be productive citizens of the Imperium when their debts are paid. I'm here to get mages to close the breach. Right, to business. I understand, of course. Felix, would you send for a scribe, please? Pardon my manners. My son Felix, friends. I am not surprised you're here. Containing the breach is not a feat that many could even attempt. There is no telling how many mages would be needed for such an endeavor. Ambitious indeed. Well, when you're fighting a massive tear in the sky, you can hardly afford to think small. There will have to be. Felix. My lord, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Are you all right? I'm fine, father. Come, I'll get your powders. Please excuse me, friends. We will have to continue this another time. Fiona, I require your assistance back at the castle. I don't mean to trouble everyone. I shall send word to the Inquisition. We will conclude this business at a later date. Come to the Chantry. You are in danger. <laughs> Ooh, very mysterious. There's no telling who or what will be waiting for us in that chantry. Only one way to find out. Alright guys, so it looks like I'm actually going to be in here in this area for a really lot longer time. Which I'm not too mad about, but I still would like to move on with the game. But anyways, it's a pretty big game. It's kind of like Skyrim, I'd say. Not as open, but kind of like it. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. My name is Amazing Races. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. We'd like to hear what you guys have to say about the series and this educational episode, mostly. Alrighty, guys. Love you. Stay amazing. Bye-bye.